Harlequin readers. I hope you don't mind that I've decorated to put both you and me in a spooky scary mood. It's fall, it's spooky season, and every book list on the internet is talking about the top 10 horror novels, the top 10 weirdest books that will creep you out this fall. And I'm somebody who is scared of everything. So while the gruesome gothics and psychological thrillers that are being marketed right now are not my jam, what lights my jack-o'-lantern is a witchy rom-com. I love a book with romance, magic, and spellbound shenanigans, and all the better if it has a familiar or some kind of secret society. So join me on this delightful fall evening as we talk about five witchy rom-coms that span small town to big city, glamour to golem, but most of all, pure magic. If your goal this Halloween is to raise a little spell, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out Dewitched by Sophie H. Morgan. Personal story aside is that I loved the movie Bewitched so much that I learned how to do the Nicole Kidman nose wiggle. And to this day, my friends still make fun of me for it. Six weeks ago, human Leah Turner snuck into a high society witch mask ball with relative success. She didn't draw attention to herself. She left her mask on the whole time and no one guessed that she was a witch. Even the sexy warlock Gabe that she was talking to for a while. Gabriel Goodnight is the best a high warlock family could hope for, but in order to take over his parents' business, the board of business witches tell him that to prove himself he'll have to live amongst the humans for three months without his magic. When Gabriel walks into Leah's bar she realizes that she knows him but she also realizes that he doesn't know who she is and then she knows who he is but he doesn't know that she knows that he has magic. All's fair in Love and Warlocks my fair readers and this is a grumpy sunshine duo that promises to be another fun flirty and probably spicy Sophie H. Morgan book. And all of us D&D players can rejoice because this Halloween we're letting our geek flag fly in the new witchy nerdy rom-com by Catherine Garbera and that is How to Charm a Nerd. This is also from Harlequin's Afterglow imprint so you can bet this is gonna be pumpkin spicy. Liberty Wake is a tarot reader and occultist whose life has been turned upside down when her sick grandmother finally tells her the name of her mysterious biological father. She decides that it's time to track him down and in doing so will need some help from the cute nerd that she's been crushing on for the last year. Unbeknownst to her, Merle Rutland has been hardcore crushing on Libby too, but he feels like he has to hide his geekery from her just like he hides it from his family. But somewhere in between D&D campaigns, setting up for Halloween and searching for Libby's father, everyone's metaphorical skeletons in the closet are drawn to the surface and we all know nothing haunts you quite like the past. Looks like the card said there's gonna be a cutie in my future. A sweet, witchy, geeky rom-com with a candy center. This promises to be the perfect book for us cosplayers, costumers, and RPGers. But you better be careful out there on the streets this October. There could be anything lurking around. There could be fairies. There could be witches. There could be your dream man. Perhaps it might be in Magical Meat Cute by Jean Meltzer. A laugh out loud Jewish rom-com that asked, is he really the man of your dreams? Like literally, Faye Kaplan is going through a bit of a rough patch. A pumpkin patch? Does the pumpkin patch metaphor work here? She left behind an ex-fiance in a successful legal practice to go and start a new life in small town New York where she mostly focuses on pottery. And looking for comfort after yet another unsuccessful single mingle at her local synagogue and a rise in anti-Semitic rhetoric in her town, Faye drinks a little too much wine and sculpts a small golem out of clay only for a very mysterious and suspiciously hot man to show up the very next day that looks familiar. This hot redhead man, Greg, is checking every one of Faye's boxes and she's wondering if it's maybe a little too much of a coincidence. As somebody who's read a lot of golems in Jewish fantasy novels, it's really fun to see how she reinterprets that for a contemporary rom-com. And I mean, hey, who doesn't love a cute redhead? Now, I don't know about you, but when the leaves start falling and everything's turning orange and brown and the air is crisp, there are three things that I think about. Out, and that is A, making a lot of soup, B, pulling out all the boxes of sweaters from underneath my bed, and C, getting the coven back together. And there are truths and lies that will be coming together in the perfect witch's brew, and that is Truly Madly Magically by Hazel Beck. You're gonna love this if you're a fan of Gilmore Girls because it focuses so heavily on those interpersonal relationships between women, but you're also gonna love this if you're a fan of Ella Enchanted because our main character Elowen has been cursed by her mother to never be able to tell a lie. Elowen Good is one of the only half witches in her town, and she's never felt truly connected to the Riverwood Coven. But when the malevolent rulers of the witch world, the Joywood, start to target her directly, she wonders why they want her gone so suddenly. She'll have to work with her new coven to survive, which includes dealing with her first love, Xander, who's there trying to regain her trust again, and bringing up the wreckage of her family if she has any hope of dealing with the past. This passionate enemies to lovers second chance romance also heavily focuses on themes of family trauma and motherhood, along with a big old splash of everyday magic. No lie here, yet again, Hazelbeck delivers a delightful witchy romance within her magical universe. And lastly, 
if you just can't pick between witches and vampires, have no fear because you get both in this delightful double feature aptly named I Put a Spell on You. That's right, two action-packed and passionate novels from Michelle Hoff, the first of which <laughs> which. The first story following vampire knight Ethan as he falls in a foreboding and forbidden love with Witch Tuesday, who happens to be the key to saving the world. Talk about a high stakes first date. And the second, a second chance romance between witches Kellen and Valor as they are pushed together on a dangerous mission where their passions may once again ignite. And if you're somebody who likes to dabble in an array of sweet Halloween treats, I Put a Spell on You is actually one third of the Bewitched collection with the other two being A Hex Gone Wrong and Seduced by the Enemy, which each hold two stories of their own. Now I'm a firm believer that campy, sexy paranormal romance can be read all year round, Though I don't deny I do like it when there's a little extra Halloween flavor in there. And poof, just like that, I've given you a perfect reason to stay home from a Halloween party. If you're looking to incorporate more magical meat cutes, no pun intended, into your fall reading list, I'd highly recommend checking out these sweet treats and Halloween hotties. If you'd like to check out any of these books or see what more witchy rom-coms you could find this month, you can head over to harlequin.com at the link in the description. A happy spooky season to you and happy reading.